runners are brain dead. All dealership has a dugout of runners, which are men typically retired, who wait around all day to go pick people's cars up. They're all like, right, so we have them, they're literally, they scatter, they put them as hard as we can. They're, like, they're not cool. They're old guys. They think they're so smart. They're pigs. They're like, and shit. but they're not funny. They're like loser. Like one of them thought I said, they, they thought I had a naked picture of one of the girls who worked there. And he was like, hey, let me see that picture of the girl that works here. And I was like, what? Like, how did you get that I said that? So what I did, I showed him a picture of a black. <laughs> so I just Googled fat black. Yeah. And then I was like, here, here it is. He's like, what the? She's got a. Like she was, was like, fucking idiot. Like, get the fuck away from me, you fucking. Re- Dude, I'll fucking <laughs> knock your teeth out. That's uh, so funny. Uh, that's a good joke too, by the way. If you want to steal that one, it's like uh, get someone really into it. like, hey, uh, did you see my um? Get them invested in yeah, like that. and then you side on them and just be constantly just while that while you know you got someone hooked, mm-hmm. you gotta know you got a fish on when the rod starts tapping. Mom, I put these bushes in front of my house. They're uh, they're Barberry bushes. You ever heard of them? Yeah, they they have a really good winter show, which is where the foliage doesn't fall off, and the twigs turn like a really cool orangish color. Do you have you, pictures? I do actually have pictures. Um, uh, I I installed them so there's four. I put them in like a row. How big are they? Uh, they're that big. <laughs> <laughs> Gotcha. This is so much fun. Yeah. I do it twice a week Mm -hmm. for 52 weeks a year. Mm -hmm. And I get all my bosses and shit. It's Mm -hmm. really great. I'll get women and shit with it. You should get your parents with it. Yeah, 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 I don't care. I'll get my mom with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like like the idea of young fucking with the elderly, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. What is that? Imagine getting a blood where you look down. That's what's giving it to you. What the fuck? It's probably fucking full of beans and shit. That's what it probably is caused by. When you realize the, the quote, the love of your life is like a fucking loser. All you have left to do is give up on life and start killing. Killing. I'm a fucking car salesman. And on my way home, I noticed my wife was in my daughter's room and she posted a fucking, a picture of her with a rainbow on her cheek and like a thumbs up. And she said, happy pride week. And the hell's angel would be like, dude, that's so fucking corny. And I'm like, <laughs> I know, I know. So that was the love of my life. Obviously, love is a, f- a falsehood. All I want to do now is murder. I want to kill whoever you guys need to kill. I'll kill them. Oh, that would be so awesome. <laughs> I just saw my wife being corny. And then you just started, like, killing fucking everybody. Like, you were, like, the craziest. Like, hey, the Missouri chapter's got some politicians kicking around their warehouse, making things a little bit rough for the boys, if you know what I mean. I'm like, yes, got it. We gotta kill that guy. Where is he? He lives at 1142 Washington Street. They're like, it's no problem. Yeah. You drive to fucking, you fly out of there, and then you, you're you really good at killing people. But you're always just walking into the scene, bang, 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 and then running away fast, and then zipping out of the state. Mm-hmm. Like, you're, that's your move. <laughs> you're like, you're like a ghost. Yeah. I heard he's a child... I looked inside. There was a there was a little girl with a black eye sitting in the back of his car. It was like a dog with no teeth in his mouth, and a little boy with like patches of hair missing out of his head. And he said, "Help me!" Politicians are always in public. It's a perfect time to shoot with a snub nose revolver. All right. So my wife showed me a picture of her coworker. So my wife worked in corporate America for twelve years, at like the Good girl job, mm-hmm. right? She had a cool girl she job. She did number one. Yeah, she was buying clothes for a living. Mm-hmm. So she was a, a buyer for, for X Corporation. You probably know it, mm-hmm. right? Her job was to spend a million dollars a week on clothes. You think your wife's got a shopping problem? <laughs> That's my joke. Mm-hmm. That's my buyer's well, my buyer's husband joke. Anyway, mm-hmm. so uh, the women that she worked with are fucking terrible. Her immediate group of friends are great. But there's like a whole bunch of cackling cunts mm-hmm. that she worked with. And she just, in the end of the day. So they all kind of clown on these like handful of like Cape Cod loving brassy cunts. Mm-hmm. And they're like mouthy and they have a strong opinion. And um, she had a, this mom had a, took a picture in her, uh, in her kid's room of a rainbow mm-hmm. on her cheek. Mm-hmm. And it was like happy pride week or something. Mm-hmm. There's like a like a 40 year old woman, like a pretty woman, mm-hmm. with just like a rainbow painted on her cheek by herself, mm-hmm. and it was like something Pride Week. Mm-hmm. And I was like, if you did that, Jess, 
If I ever came home and saw my wife in my kids, my daughter's room with like a rainbow and you posted that, I would drive home, pack my shit, and be, you would be divorced in under six minutes. I would be at the Harley Davidson buying a Harley cash to have the title and say, I want the title for it. Mm -hmm. Take the Harley to the Hells Angels clubhouse mm -hmm. and then say, hi, I'm here to be the new total killer. And they're going to be like, whoa, man, why are you so fucking ramped up? And I'm like, I came home, man. I was working. I'm a fucking car salesman. And on my way home, I noticed my wife was in my daughter's room and she posted a fucking a picture of her with a rainbow on her cheek and like a thumbs up. And she said, happy Pride Week. And the Hells Angel would be like, dude, that's so fucking corny. And I'm like, <laughs> I know. I know. So that was the love of my life. Obviously, love is a, f a falsehood. All I want to do now is murder. I want to kill whoever you guys need to kill. I'll kill them. Here's the title for my motorcycle, because that's the rules of getting in the Hells Angels, for those of you who don't know. Oh, really? All you got to do is give them your title, and you're in. And then probably fight one of them. Hmm. You should be in the Hells Angels. You should join the Hells Angels. Sounds Sam. cool. It's something to do. Do they, you, like, do they want an Aprilia? <laughs> You drive there and they're like, no, no, you, you, you keep your good bikes. Yeah. You drive there like a, like a real shit suck out, like a Kawasaki, uh, like a, like a, a Virago or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> a Can-Am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like, like the worst bike uh, to give. No, no. Anyway. So, but like, like the guy's like, oh, that's so fucking gay, dude. <laughs> your wife, how did she get the rainbow? I'm like, she painted it on herself and they're like, oh. That's so fun. How could you even fuck her after that? I'm like, I didn't. I packed my shit. This was an hour ago, and now I'm here. Mm. I went to Ocean State Harley. I bought a soft tail. Knew you guys are going to be coming to ask me for one. Who do I have to fight now? And then after that, I'll go kill someone over the lines. I'll go kill some fucking cop or whatever you need me to do that's mouthing <laughs> off to you. <laughs> Like it's just yeah, it's really unfun. Like I like the, them knowing like how bad the story, how bad like knowing like how corny it is mm -hmm. to like have a wife. Mm -hmm. Like there's pictures of this this lady's husband with like a like she's like the wife's all dressed up in the Halloween mm -hmm. costume and the kids are like barely they didn't have any choice on what the fuck was going on. This mm -hmm. is so the wife could dress up for Halloween mm -hmm. and the husband's there with a dragon mask on. Like he's just like. <laughs> like so brain dead like yeah. like like he's given up. Mm -hmm. This kid's like hair is away from jumping off a bridge. Mm -hmm. And like when you realize the the quote the love of your life is like a fucking loser. Mm. All you have left to do is give up on life and start killing. Killing. Oh, that would be so awesome. <laughs> I'm your, I'm your new t top hit. I'm your new brutal hit man. Yeah, yeah. I kill everybody. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to fucking, and I'm going to run. And I like thinking about like a guy, like that would be the, the thing. Mm -hmm. It would be like over something, not like your wife getting killed and raped or anything like that. Like nothing brutal where you're like, oh man, I would be a crazy person too. Like, nope. I just saw my wife being corny. Yeah. And then you just started like killing people fucking everybody like you were like the craziest like hey the missouri chapters got some politicians kicking around their warehouse making things a little bit rough for the boys if you know what i mean i'm like yes got it we got to kill that guy where is he he lives at 1142 washington street You're like it's no problem you drive to fucking you fly out of there and then you you're really good at killing people but you're always just walking into the scene bang 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 and then running away fast and then <laughs> zipping out of the state Mm -hmm. Like you're, that's your move. <laughs> you're like, you're like a ghost. Yeah. Runners are dead, brain dead. <clears throat> mm -hmm. All dealership has a dugout of runners, which are men typically retired who wait around all day to go pick people's cars up. They're all like, we have them. They're literally, they scatter. They, we fuck with them as hard as we can. They're like, they're not cool. They're old guys. They think they're so smart. They're pigs. They're like, like perverts and shit, but they're not funny perverts. They're like fucking loser perverts. Mm -hmm. Like one of them thought I said they they thought I had a naked picture of one of the girls who worked there, mm -hmm. and he was like, "Hey, let me see that picture of the girl that works here." And I was like, "What? Like, how did you get that I said that?" So what I did, I showed him a picture of a black. <laughs> so I just googled fat black, yeah. and then I was like, "Here, here it is." He's like, "What the fuck? She's got a like she was, I was like, fucking idiot. Like, get the fuck away from me, you fucking." <laughs>
Do it and I'll fucking <laughs> knock your teeth out. That's so funny. Oh, that's, that's my favorite. I remember one one time you were talking about uh I think it was something that happened at your dad's dealership. But it was um someone was busting the balls of a salesman. Maybe it was you, and it was so disrespectful and, and um the guy was like, What are you a runner? <laughs> to a to a salesman. Do you remember that? <laughs> no, that no, you? I wish though. <laughs> My dad's business partner. I told him one day, I was like, "Man, you fucking missed your calling, dude. You should have been a fu- you shouldn't have been an owner of a dealership. You should have been a fucking runner, dude. You got all the because there's guys that come in like a runner will be sitting in your dealership. You'll be doing you said business. That to the guy that owns half the dealership. Yeah, you missed your calling. You should have been a runner. And he was like, he didn't even get it. Like I was like, you fucking I- like asking asking a salesman if they're a runner. Oh yeah, it's really insulting. You want you call someone a runner? That's like. <laughs> <laughs> That's like saying like like you're uh, like NPC human. Mm-hmm. Like all those people in cars, some of them are runners. Yeah. Like if you ever see a car driving with a, a dealer plate on it, and you know the person isn't test driving it, mm-hmm. that's a runner. Mm-hmm. That's a. Mm-hmm. That's a guy who literally would sit like he doesn't know how to just die. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not gonna die quietly. Mm-hmm. I won't get a job at Home Depot. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna be like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this guy help you out. <laughs> and they think they're like, oh, God, it's so fucking funny. I love, I love watching their, like, brain try to work. Mm-hmm. I yell at them real bad. I love, like, abusing. I love abusing grown men. You like abusing elders. <clears throat> I do. I really do like abusing the elderly. Because really they do suck. Yeah, they got to. They got to go. You were right on in your TED Talk. Game over. Push them out. Icebox. See ya. Joe versus the volcano. Lethal injection. Want to try a needle? <laughs> Come back here. You want to try this needle? <clears throat> just chase, chasing down the elderly. Yeah. If you don't have a big fam, especially if you don't have a fam, just go just go out to like Las Vegas, which I feel like a lot of them just do. Mm-hmm. But don't bother us. Mm-hmm. Like in like these working cities here. Yeah, we're pe- busy. People trying to get shit done. Okay. To raise a family over there's here. There's traffic. I'm trying to fucking get around you. And you're over here being a fucking idiot, asking for nudes. Yeah. Looking at black. <laughs> <laughs> Getting fucked with my car salesman showing you pictures of fucking nine inch soft black. That's so funny. <laughs> uh, that's a good joke too, by the way. If you want to steal that one, it's like uh, get someone really into it. like, hey, uh, did you see my um? Get them invested in yeah, something like that. and then you side them and just be constantly just while that while you know you got someone hooked, mm-hmm. you got to know you got a fish on when the rod starts tapping, mm-hmm. and then you say, oh yeah, yeah, I ended up putting the lower body kit on this car. <laughs> uh, the you, Japanese one you did? Yeah, yeah, Do you yeah. have pictures? Yeah, yeah I have a fucking picture of it <laughs> um, I worked on it all weekend All the parts came from Japan Oh, that's crazy Yeah, I yeah. gotta see this um, Do you do you know West Corvettes? Yeah, oh, that's my favorite one How'd you know something that specific I knew you were always me? into that and, How'd you uh, specifically know that that was one of my favorite things? Um. So the body kit that I went with this body kit Oh, that's the Bomex <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's just so much fun Yeah I do it twice a week mm-hmm. for 52 weeks a year. Mm-hmm. And I get all of my bosses and shit. It's mm-hmm. really great. <laughs> like, I'll get anybody. I'll get women and shit with it. You should get your parents with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't care. I'll get my mom with it. Yeah. Mom, I put these bushes in front of my house. They're, uh, <clears throat> they're barberry bushes. They're, cord- they're uh, cordials. <laughs> do you ever heard of them? Yeah, they, they have a really good winter show, which is where the foliage doesn't fall off and the twigs turn like a really cool orangish color. Wow, that sounds uh, really cool. Amazing. And um, do you have you, pictures? I do actually have pictures. Um, uh, I I installed them so there's four. I put them in like a row. How big are they? What's that? Uh, they're that big. <laughs> Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> that's really funny. Yeah, yeah. I like I like the idea of young fucking with the elderly though. Mm-hmm. Oh, I remembered what I wanted to say. It was um, uh, can you go to um YouTube and type in uh man drops weights on man's head? Did you see that clip? The guy who fell. Yeah. He pretended like he was falling. Yeah. That was fucking. I want to see the. I, I never. I wanted to. You know what's weird? I think I was like looking it up and then I got distracted. Mm-hmm. Just fucking awesome. What did this guy do? He probably uh, made some snide comment about uh, racking the weights or cleaning off the equipment or something. So he had to get fucking shook up a little He's bit. He's got to pull his elbows into his body a little more. His form See, this is what tough. happens when you mean mug people at the gym and you fucking give them attitude about clean up your weights. There you go. Have some of that. Take that with you on the way down. 
Wow. Go, bitch. What a cowardly way to hit someone. I mean, yeah, you got to do it, you know? Yeah, place mm -hmm. the way you got to do it. Mm -hmm. And he only got 18 months in jail. So you, he, this is, uh, you know, obviously you can kill someone very easily. He fractured his skull. Did he? <clears throat> he yeah, the guy's skull got fractured. Could have, could have easily killed him. Attempted murder by any definition. Where were they? Is it it's, this is Australia, I think. Australia. And um, but because he faked the fall, they gave him 18, 18 months. Oh, a fail. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry, man. He puts a towel on his head. He comes back and puts the towel on the guy's head to help out. Oh, I fell down. <laughs> look here, mate. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Crikey, I done feel. Cripes. That was a big one. That was a 20 kilo. It was a winger, mate. <laughs> Bloody hell, mate. Oh, I probably got a couple extra towels out in me, Justy. Look at this. He puts the towel on his head to help him mop, sop up the blood. This is so funny. And by funny, I mean fucked up and brutal. Savage. He gives him the towel to help him out. And the, the fucked up thing is, um, like, to a jury... The uh, explain uh, trying to explain to regular people how physical shit happens. Like they had, a, there was a jury, and somebody had to explain to him that this is, there's no way this is not intentional. This is compl there's no way that that's not intentional. Mm -hmm. And yet they were they were unable to convince. I don't know if it's twelve people in Australia, but they were unable to convince a jury of people that it was like intentional. Like there was someone sitting there like, oh well, he says he fell. It could have been a fall. It could have been a fall. Oh, it could have been a fall. Yeah. Oi, I've tripped my ankle all the time. I'm always tripping my ankle, chopping up in the gym there, mate. The floor's slippery. I bonk, bonk me. He just bonked him in the head there. It's just a little bonk. Don't you know, everybody in Australia is a fucking re- <laughs> <laughs> Done. I mean, I get it. I do. Like, there are people who, you know, it's funny. That was like one of those memes I saw. Like, that guy at the gym that you just don't like for no reason. You don't know why. Mm -hmm. I have like four. Oh, I have a, a jump rope guy mm -hmm. that I want to kill. Mm -hmm. He just jump ropes for an hour. Mm -hmm. But he's like a attention-starved little. Mm -hmm. But he's a man. He's like, he looks like a 42-year-old German guy. He might need a, a barbell in the head. I would barbell him in the head. Mm -hmm. So what I do is I always set up right behind him, and I stand there, and I wait for him to hit me with it. Mm -hmm. And then I would like, I'm Good just. Good call. Yeah, yeah. So I just like he, I get really close to his, and the he's whip. like swinging the fucking jump rope around, like doing moves, like he's not like, tick, 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 tick. it's like, he's just swinging it, and then he's catching it to do like moves, like like jump okay. USA, whatever the. Okay. And the only reason why I know that is because I they came to my high school when I was a kid, yeah, and I wanted to fuck one of the Canadian. I think they were like a weird like upbeat Christian thing or something like that. But the girl was so hot, mm. and I think I remember like, it was one of my first jerk off things. So I was like, whoa. Mm -hmm. I was like fucking freshman high school, and they were like, ha, ha, what's going on, everybody? <laughs> like, whoa. And I'm like, uh, like paralyzed, like staring yeah. at this fucking girl's ass that was my age. Damn. And I was like, Duh. Mm -hmm. I got to get in the jump rope. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shoot. Like doing push ups, like throwing Say that again. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> Straight up fucking serial killer. Yeah. <laughs> jump USA. Yeah. He's awesome. Jump USA though, but he's 42 yeah. with like a tattoo, and he's actually kind of big. Like in a commercial gym. In a commercial gym, right in the aisle too. Like he does it in this one spot. It oh, bothers God. me. I do clown on him as hard as I can. Mm -hmm. I make people pull their headphones off so I can clown on him. I'm like, mm -hmm. look at the guy over there. Mm -hmm. I'll be like walking uphill, <laughs> and I'll be like, <laughs> yeah, to the girl on the side. I don't care who's on the side of me, no matter what, they're getting it. Yeah. Look at the guy over there. We're all <laughs> fucking up. We don't know how to work out. <laughs> what? We're not working out the right way. Like, I know we're supposed to be walking uphill on 12 at 3%, but obviously we should have been doing center of the gym jump roping. Like this guy. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm like, what a fucking loser, right? Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> I heard he's a child molester. <laughs> I looked inside. There was, a, there was a little girl with a black eye sitting in the back of his car. Really? I'm not lying. I don't know what's up with that guy, dude. He's got a weird car, and there was, like, clothes up over the windows in the back to kind of, like, block off what was going on. I looked back there. There was, like, a dog with no teeth in his mouth and a little boy with, like, patches of hair missing out of his head. And he said, help me, but he didn't say any words. I don't know. <laughs> Just slaughtering people like that? Oh, my God. I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> 
He said, help me. I'm not from around here. I don't know. Or something. I was in a rush. I just wanted to get on the treadmill. <laughs> Fucking unbelievable, bro! It's so awesome. Do you have any of those guys at your gym? Like the kid kicking, um, like the, you know, the, when you were telling yeah, the little story. kicker, man. Oh man, there was this other guy too that was um, he was uh, he was like a uh, shredded, super ripped, like five foot tall man. Uh -huh. Like his bicep was like a melon. It was like an ice cream scoop. It was like an ice cream scoop bicep, and he had, like he was totally vascular and everything, and he was like forty with like long hair. So it's just like all all combined into like not a good look. Like this guy looked like not good. And um he was doing boxing coaching for these two girls and one of them was kind of good looking and he was having them do really really uh stupid stuff. Like he was he was like okay, have you have you all ever, have you ever sparred before? And they were and uh the good looking one was like no and then the one that had like a busted up witch face was like I have it's been a long time though. And she had her she had her hands up like this, oh. and he he had them start by kicking the inside of each other's legs. What? Which is a th you if you're doing Muay Thai, you can do a, a inside leg kick, but it's not something that you like. All right, Joey, let's do inside leg kicks. Like it's let's not do boxing sparring. Let's not, do leg kicks. It's not something that you like jump in to do. And neither of them had shin guards on. They were just wearing like regular shoes. They were in like sneakers, no pads, and like looking yeah, like yeah. hot girl so you, at the gym. And the kick is to here. Like you can like you hurt someone. You kick someone, you're just gonna hurt them if you don't have shin guards. Especially on if you. you're a stupid girl with a tiny brain. Yeah, you're just gonna like you know. And um, go too hard. I hate I hated that guy. That guy was annoying. That's annoying. Yeah. People do annoying things at the gym. People get really super wrapped up in their little world of being annoying in the gym. Yeah, yeah. Don't ever talk to me about and how you to. You can't lift. pull them out. I don't want to hear anybody's lifting techniques. Mm -hmm. I don't care. Mm -hmm. I love going to the gym though. Mm -hmm. I'm like obsessed now. You're gonna have a. You're gonna be bodybuilder, Nick. Yeah. I see you getting bigger. I see it. Yeah. I gotta get. It. I gotta get bigger. Mm. Damn. I heard is muscle. Is it true that building muscle in your fucking 30s and 40s is hard? Mm -mm. Okay. I heard that this morning. I started to get a little panicky. No, I was like, fuck. Stupid. All right. Good. But yeah, watching people do things like the attention-starved males. Yeah. Are unbelievable. Girls are good. Mm -hmm. Girls are like good at lifting, mm -hmm. but guys do things like I'm gonna do power up, like the power ups. Mm -hmm. But then they like, like I saw a kid sitting on top of a machine, mm -hmm. like he power up and then sat there for like ten minutes, and he was like, ah, damn. And I was like, I want to be like, get down. That really get happened. down. That's crazy. I wanted to be like baseball dad. That's fucking awesome. You down now, like cop guy. Yeah. Like I, I've never thought ever to be an authoritative like that guy. You should have found a gym staff shirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's your name? You're out of here, Buster. <laughs> Let's go. Time to go today. Come back tomorrow with a different attitude. <laughs> like start talking to like cop ways. Mm -hmm. Like. Where you know how to get through a situation, like from beginning to end. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was so fucking pissed seeing this kid. Who do we? Who's at the gym that we hate, Joey? You uh, know the people I hate at the gym. That you hate at the gym. Mini reps. Yeah, yeah. He could get on the rowing machine and like vibrate like this. What are you doing? Doing mini reps. What is that? Mini reps. It's such a weird thing. You gotta do mini reps. Like guys putting fifty plates on the leg press machine and like mm -hmm. going like that. Yeah, yeah. I watch like compilations of shit like that. Like w the yeah. leg press machine is like an invitation to like fucking. <laughs> hey. Yeah, 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 Jimming, huh? <laughs> <laughs> like press machine has like a personality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Like, <laughs> That's so funny. Hey, you ever, uh, you ever want to like take a baseball bat to your VCR? <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, yeah. Yeah, why? <laughs> Come on, throw some plates on me and, fucking, <laughs> and barely bend your knees. <laughs> Come on, you fucking baseball coach. Let's do let's do bodybuilder has superhuman agility. Is that rich rich piano doing splits? You know what really let me down recently? You know those um Oh, this guy, yeah. This little fucking f Is he on Fire Island? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I hate when people wear masks at the gym. It bothers me so much. You got to look at his swag when he completes the move though. I Googled those boxes to try to ascertain his height. Yeah. Because if he's five feet tall, this he is, is less impressive. Tall. He's five feet tall. <laughs> Whoa, dude. Whoa. Guy's Killer. five. But can you believe that? I Googled those boxes, and I did, like, perspective measuring on them. Wow. Like, it took me half an hour to do that. Woo. I've seen this guy before. 
the the swag after he hits the move is so whack and negative swag. Yeah, he's got the Walmart DBZ tank. Looking straight up yanked in that team, my man. <laughs> Yo, Bryson. <coughs> And yet again, he proved the doubters wrong. I am gay. I like the Indian guy typing captions for this. Would you like to put your fingers in my Aja? We gotta get bucket hats. We Hello, friends. Do you like techno music? Sounds electronic music. Put your fingers in my Aja. <laughs> I filled my camel pack up with lube. <laughs> for you, Plyosoft box like my Plyosoft butt. Swag. Like Ronnie from the real, uh, Jersey Shore. Swag. Yeah. But after he hits it, though, he he like does a little bop like a uh, a little girl gymnast. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, he's proud of his 315 for 12. But if you had four foot arms, uh, sorry, four inch arms, you could do it too. Or five? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck these uh, fucking five footers, man. <laughs> Shrimpkins. Yeah. <clears throat> and I'm think. not mad that there's some buff guy. It's literally because of the little bounce he does after his moves. Like that's what I hate. Like if he did if he stopped doing that, I'd be like, oh, this guy's athletic. Guys think that's cute though. Like corny guys. Like corny pe people are like that. <laughs> Dude, people are fucking corny, man. Would you still be friends with me if I did something cool and then I went like this? No, nah, I'd pull you aside and be like, Sammy, don't do that. <laughs> We've been friends for fucking 15 years. I don't want our 12, whatever. We've been friends for a long time. Don't do not do this kind of shit, man. I got to I gotta do it at some point. I imagine him doing like the backflip shit, just like in like nervous situations. Just yeah. Like <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Someone's like, hey, Will, you still doing that backflip stuff? And he's like, <laughs> like they know. Hell it. yeah. Hell yeah. Actually, I am. <laughs> like he doesn't know. Like he knows he's getting his ball, ball, balls busted. But does it anyway, and he's like, "This I can't." Let's see yours now. <laughs> uh, we got a uh, Tay Zonde doing voiceover for the for the NFT website, and we <laughs> <laughs> the chocolate rain guy. Oh no shit! Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm like, and Oof. he was like, he was like, this project is not associated with anything bad, is it? And I was like, no, we're a BLM pro queer trans organization i'm literally sucking a cock right now <laughs> we're green and we believe in those politics and we will not yeah it will be good and it, it worked and so he sent us the voice track after that really yeah yeah does he know that it's all our fucking dope ass <laughs> propaganda he doesn't know what the he what doesn't know the, the whole is. thing is all going back to our david duke he has no idea com. That oh man we got him good yeah we did David Duke is going to be so happy when we talk to him on our nightly talk mm -hmm. tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we, I was thinking in uh, in Joyride, we got to have a character named Avid Ook. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. I was just, I don't know why. Ave Ook. Avid Ook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah or like, if you try to say David Duke's name secretly, it's like, hey, have you heard of a Avid Ook? <laughs> Avid Ook. <laughs> Moomlux Milan or something like that. Like, you know, you know. 